Hi, uh, in this video I will explain some uh, details about uh, username, uh, login and sign up. As you know that users database in Dallo uses email as a primary identification key for the user. So everything is checked against the user email and the uniqueness of the user is checked during email, uh, using email. But uh, sometimes uh, we want to allow users to log in user, using their usernames. Uh, the thing is that um, it doesn't work with built-in forms. Uh, for example, uh, you can create a sign-up form and you can uh, add a field or, or instead of email, you have a username field. However, uh, and the user will be created. However, uh, in the login form, in the built-in form, even if you uh, substitute uh, email field by username field, like it's done here, uh, you cannot really uh, set uh, the uh, login type uh, using username. So there is no option for, for it. And uh, it doesn't work with the username. I already have uh, created several users. Uh, like say, for example, uh, this is a username called Peter. So let's log out and try to log in with this username and it says that it's invalid email or password so uh, it checks the email not the username uh, however we can create the uh, username login using custom built forms uh, this is a short small example how I did it here it's uh, two screens uh, you have the sign up screen and you have the login screen so for the sign up screen uh, you have two input uh, and uh, the one input box is for username, another input box is for password. And there is a sign up button, uh, a little bit more information how it works. There is a click action sign up and uh, what you need to do is to, uh, this is the action, to sign up the user and you use username input value as username, password input value as password. However, don't forget to put something into the email field. And I would advise to put the same information as username because again, this is the unique, uh, as I understand, this is the unique field against which uh, everything is checked. So for example, if you put some arbitrary values here, uh, that could be the case that uh, several users with the uh, same uh, usernames could be created. So this should be unique. And uh, then uh, there's, uh, okay, the, there's an action that uh, just sign up the user and then you link to home screen. And as for the login uh, screen, again, this is pretty simple as well. There's an input for username, there's an input for password, and there's a login button. Uh, the again the hint here is that uh, there are two login types uh, available available uh, so you can use username login type and uh, then you go to home screen as well so uh, it works uh, pretty flawlessly so uh, let's this is a username sign up so let's uh, I don't know John and with the password one to three, Google will complain, but so, okay. We've signed up and this is a username and this is a user email which has been filled automatically. So let's exit uh, and uh, okay, let's try to log in with the same username and uh, another password. So should be, I did not set it up as a, as a hidden so uh, you see that this is invalid username or password if we put a correct password we log in successfully and uh, again let's try to sign up with the same username uh, uh, so John and the password will be another one so it will not allow us to sign up because we have put the uh, value from this uh, username field also into the email field. So uh, that's it. I uh, hope uh, that I've explained everything clearly. Thank you.